So we just learned some more information that proves that the Trump campaign directly colluded with Russia, with the Kremlin, with Russian intelligence to gain unfair advantage in the 2016 presidential election. And I really like this story, but not because of the information Joe Biden's executive branch just revealed to the American people, but for what the revelation of the information itself signals. Because to me, it tends to signal that justice may be just around the corner. And justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So I'm wearing a tie because I just did a quick television appearance and I'm so enthusiastic about this story that I haven't even changed my attire. Um, so it's the story involving the US Treasury revealing to the American people that the federal government has evidence that the Trump campaign directly colluded with Russia. How? So the Trump campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, gave sensitive polling data, right, proprietary election strategy information to a guy named Konstantin Kalimnik. We've known this for a long time, but we only assumed that Kalimnik then directly delivered this information to Russia, to the Kremlin, to Russian intelligence, so they could use it to try to help Donald Trump unfairly win the 2016 election. Some might even say steal the 2016 um, election. So it's that added piece, not from Manafort to Kalimnik, but from Kalimnik to the Kremlin that was just revealed to the American people. So look, now we can prove collusion beyond a reasonable doubt, beyond all doubt, but we all sort of suspected that already. But here's why this story is so good in my estimation, not just because of this added information, but because of the fact that Joe Biden's executive branch just chose to reveal it to the American people, revealing information that proves Trump colluded with Russia to unfairly win the election. Why might the administration be revealing that information to us? to the American people at this moment. Think about it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me that they would reveal this important information that bolsters the conclusion that Donald Trump coordinated with Russia to steal the 2016 election if they were just gonna say, look, American citizens, how horrific this is but we're gonna take a step back and not do anything about it. That doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make legal sense. It doesn't make factual sense. It doesn't make moral sense. And it doesn't make PR sense, public relations sense. That's why I'm so excited about the release of this information, not just the substance of it, but because to me, it feels like we're trending toward justice. To me, it feels like Merrick Garland has been studying Bob Mueller's Trump-Russia report, has been gathering all of the other information, proving that Trump and associate committed buku crimes. And now maybe we're moving toward an indictment. Let's go back to a few of the basics, though. Um, when I heard about this revelation that Trump, the Trump campaign colluded with Russia now through Kalimnik, we know that, we know this now, when I heard about it, my mind went to the Mueller report, right? Volume two, where Bob Mueller meticulously documented as many as 10 felony obstruction of justice crimes by Donald Trump. And what did Bob Mueller testify to? When Donald Trump leaves office, he can be prosecuted. So here we are. We are poised, waiting for the promise of the Mueller report and Bob Mueller's testimony and the evidence of 10 obstruction of justice crimes committed by Donald Trump, we are poised to see them prosecuted. 
And now that we have this information substantiating Trump campaign Russian collusion to steal the 2016 election, let's think back to one of those obstruction of justice offenses that Bob Mueller put together for future prosecutors like Merrick Garland. When Donald Trump fired Jim Comey because Jim Comey wouldn't go easy on Mike Flynn, right? Wouldn't give Mike Flynn a pass. Wouldn't pledge his loyalty, Jim Comey, to Donald Trump. Mike Flynn being Donald Trump's criminal associate. So Donald Trump fired Comey and then he gathered his friends, his protectors, the Russians in the Oval Office. Remember the pictures? They're all yucking it up together. And Donald Trump says, I fired the nut job. The pressure is off. Well, doesn't it all sort of come together? And doesn't this picture of Trump-Russia collusion just appear before us as plain and as vivid as day? And now with the Biden administration announcing this important revelation, it really does feel to me like we're moving toward justice. And justice matters. And folks, as always, thank you for tuning into these daily videos. If you would like to more formally support our all-volunteer efforts and our mission here, please feel free to go over to patreon.com, sign up to become a patron, join Team Justice Proper, which is where we meet, where we talk about justice projects. Um, and if you do choose to visit patreon.com and sign up to become a patron, I'll, I'll send you some uh, Team Justice stickers and a personal handwritten note of thanks to show my appreciation for your support. Uh, so as always, folks, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.